Hey guys, if you are like me, I've got a 2003 Chevy Tahoe. It's a Z71 with a 5.3 flex. I don't think that makes a difference. It does have the automatic air conditioning control as seen here. Whether it's manual or automatic, I'm not sure if that matters. Um, my problem is currently I've got AC coming out of all my vents, the driver side, the rear AC, but the passenger side is blowing hot out of this vent in that vent. Um, checking on YouTube, I think the only problem, or not problem, but solution is the replace the actuator. And to be quite frankly, that is going to be a pain in the ass. Um, we just undid the glove box, which is simply done by pushing in this tab here. And from there, you can pop out this vent. And the actuator, if I can get a good camera angle on it, is where that little plug is right beneath um, this vent. You'll see the little tab. So there's no easy way to actually get that actuator out. Um, the actuator is probably about $50, $60, but getting it out, generally on most of the videos I've seen, it involves taking out the whole dash. Um, this Tahoe's got about 150, 160,000 miles on it. I'm not looking to rip out the whole dash. Um, so I'm trying to come up with a little easier solution. And what I've come up with is pretty simple as long as you don't need full control um, of your passenger side. Um, my situation, it's 100 degrees outside and it is blowing hot air which makes it completely miserable for the passenger as well as myself because I have to hear the wife. But this little connector, if you get a flat head, you should be able to pop it right off. And I'll see if I can get a good view on it. It's kind of hard to hold the camera at the same time. Right, you gotta lift it. You should be able to put your hand in there and pull it off the rest of the way. Um, one nice thing about these actuators is visually, if you can see it with your naked eye versus with the camera, I don't think I can get a good angle on it. Um, try and zoom in. It has got a notch in it, almost like a flathead notch. And what I was able to do was actually stick a screwdriver through the notches and turn it manually. And I will try and get a screwdriver in there so you can see what I'm talking about. All right. Good spot. Let me grab my flathead. What I did is got a flathead right in here on the teeth where there's a notch made in the actuator. And this goes all the way down to the blend door. And I turned it um, from left to right, and that gave me cool air. It's all the way to the right for cold air right now. Now, I did attempt just to plug the actuator back in to see if it would, you know, relocate itself back to the hot side. And it did. It actually tried to recalibrate itself. And as soon as it went to the high side, it got stuck. Um, it, I believe it's just got a, a broken tooth or there in the high side. Once it hits the end of the band, when you go to heat, uh, the teeth are snapped off, crunched, broken, I'm not quite sure. Once it hits that point, it will not go back too cold. So at the moment, I just left it unplugged, tested the system, put the key in, um, ran the vehicle, and the driver's side, I can adjust hot and cold. That Everything else works fine. 
Um, as far as this actuator, I just left it unplugged. Um, something I might try just to see if I can salvage, you know, a little extra life out of it without taking out the whole dash. It's possibly putting a small metal rod in there where I, I just barely put a little bit of epoxy putty and hopefully it'll stop at the point I want right before the teeth are stripped. But uh, I don't think I'm going to mess with that anytime soon. Hope, hope this helps you out, guys. Thank you.